This is the A-Team. Samsung's variety of mid-rangers. We have here the A10, the A20, the A50, the A70, and finally the A80. Face up, they look very much alike. It's when you turn them on or turn them over that you begin to see the subtle differences. The A10 has a single camera. The A20 has dual cameras and a fingerprint scanner on the back. The A50 has three cameras, an in-display fingerprint scanner, and the color similar to the Aura Glow on the just announced Note 10. When they're on, you notice that only the A10 comes with an LCD screen. The rest have Samsung's marvelous looking Super AMOLED screens and are differentiated only by size. The A10 and A20 are aimed at the always pressing the phone squad mainly because of the battery life. And the A50, A70 and A80 with the image stabilization capabilities you can see that they're clearly focused on video. Samsung actually invented a whole new word for the design of the new Galaxy A phones. They call it a 3D glass stick. It's a combination of the words glass and plastic as the A50 and A70 have glass and plastic on their body. Even though it looks more like glass than plastic but feels more like plastic than glass. Well, so yeah, we just go with the glastic. Remember I made an A-Team reference in the beginning? So I gave every single model a name from a member of the A-Team. Remember that old series? Let's talk about the A10. Our Amy Amanda AAA Allen from the A team. She's small and pretty. She obviously has no training or strengths. Since the character we are likening her to has the same features, it sort of makes sense. As always, let's begin with the screen. Samsung's Infinity V display makes an appearance here with a V cutout on the screen. The Infinity display is basically a near bezel less edge to edge screen. It measures in at 6.2 inches with an HD plus screen, meaning it's a bit over 720 pixels. The A10 has a slender 7.9mm body that fits in your hand comfortably and it comes in blue, black or red. Lots of people buy phones because of the camera and the A10 has a 13 megapixel camera on the rear and a 5 megapixel camera on the front that you can use to unlock the phone. Samsung gives you AR stickers, stamps and filters on the camera for you to play with. You can download more from the Galaxy Store if you want. This cute phone is powered by a 3400 mAh battery and can last you a full day on a single charge, assuming you use it moderately. It has an octa-core processor but if you're a heavy user, you may want to look elsewhere. The A10 is running Samsung's latest One UI 2 and it comes with 2 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage which can be expanded with a micro SD memory card and unlike the rest of the range, it's the only phone that comes with the old micro USB port. The A20 Everybody who knows the A-Team knows Mr. T, known as B.A. Baracus in the A-Team series. This phone stands at 6.4 inches, it's slightly larger than the A10. It also has an Infinity V display. The phone has a glossy plastic finish available in black, deep blue, coral orange or red. As mentioned earlier, it's quite similar when compared to the A10, until you turn it face down. When you turn it face down, all you have to do is place your finger on the rear scanner to unlock the phone and you're greeted with a vibrant Super AMOLED screen with HD resolution. Also behind you have two cameras, a 123 degree ultra wide 5 megapixel lens and a 13 megapixel main camera. You also have your flash tucked right beneath them. The A20 shoots selfies with an 8 megapixel front facing camera and can also be used for unlocking the phone. To ensure that the phone lasts long while you use it during the day, Samsung fitted it with a large 4000mAh battery and they included fast charging. At the core of the A20 is the octa-core Exynos 7884 processor supported by 3 gigs of RAM. Yeah, I know that's a whole lot of tech terms for the non-techies out there. Basically, it can get the job done. For storage, you have here, just like the A10, 32 gigs. It's expandable with a micro SD memory card up to 512 gigabytes. Just so you know, it uses a USB Type-C port for charging and data transfer. So if you're coming from a phone that uses the older micro USB port, your old cables won't work. You'll need an adapter. In effect, the A20 can do whatever the A10 can do and more.